there is a massive news from the aviation industry and that is that go first airlines have decided to ground all its flights on may 3rd and may 4th it means you cannot make any bookings in go first for may 3rd and may 4th and the reason behind it the company is not able to pay money to the oil marketing companies and why are they not able to pay the money well they had decided that they will be paying the money on daily basis whenever their flights will be operative but at the moment they have no money to pay to the oil marketing companies the other hassle that go first is facing that they have air buses in their fleet and the company that provides them engines they have also decided that they'll not be providing them the new engines the airline's cash flow has been seriously hit as it has grounded more than half of their fleet due to recurrent issues and non-supply of engines from Pratt and Whitney engines which powers its Airbus A320 Neo aircrafts Simultaneously the airline has filed a lawsuit against the US based engine maker in Delaware federal court seeking enforcement of an arbitral award that asked Pratt and Whitney to provide the airline with engines failing which there is a risk the airline shutting down go first had 30 aircraft grounded as of march 31 including 9 of which the lease payments are due go first has a total of 61 aircraft in its fleet 56 a320 neos and 5 a320 ceos according to the airline's website the loss of passenger revenue comes when aircraft are high and traffic is soaring after the pandemic the airline plans to operate 1538 flights a week in the ongoing summer schedule 40 lower than the last year the season started on march 26 and goes on till october 28 so the biggest question is that will go first face the same fate as jet air and what spice jet is facing right now of course spice jet has made some changes and their fleet for passengers and their fleet for deliveries are very different they are both different companies but at the moment go first owned by wadiyas is facing the issue of cash crunch this is nagain singh for times of india